Yep, that's right. It's the Swaggin, and we're going to be going on a little bit of a vacation. We're taking you guys with us. Um, I'm not even wearing an auto rest of my t-shirt. I've got one of my NPD shirts on today just because I don't know why. But we are going to be going up to the lake for a couple of days. We're actually going to be camping in that. Uh, and I'm going to go over a few of the things a little along while we're doing this that we did to get ready to go on a camping trip in June and July in South Carolina slash Georgia up at Thurman Lake or Lake Thurman, depending on who you talk to. I always knew it as Clarks Hill. Believe it or not, you can actually get two people in the back of this if you really, really, really like each other. There's enough room for the missus and I, we theorize, if we're really, really happy to see each other. We've actually made up some curtains for the back sides of it, and we'll probably have to take everything down when we go out to eat uh, in the evenings because this is the only vehicle we have to go in. We're going to be bringing an Easy Up tent with us, which I'm showing you right now. I'm going to put that over the top of the wagon. But yeah, there's actually enough room back there. You can get in there and take a look at it. It's actually not too bad. I think that's what I'm telling myself, you know, because it's probably going to be pretty bad. One thing I do like about these old Fairlane wagons is the storage well in the back. I'm able to put all my stuff in here. I've got a toolbox, an air pump, the cord we'll need for all of our fans and stuff while we're at the lake if it gets hot, which it probably will, as well as some ratchet straps and Rusty the Rooster, who isn't going to be going with us. All right, so there it is. We have everything loaded in the back of the car. Um, that's our sleeping mattress, and there's a bunch of other stuff in there. So we're ready to go. Behind me is my wife's two bags to my one bag. Now, she's probably going to say something about the fans I'm bringing and all that, but honestly, camping in June and July in South Carolina, Georgia, it's going to suck. Even with the easy up, which is in the car right there. I just can't see it. I'd like to say it was better when I was a kid, the packing, the stuff that went in the wagon when mom and dad and I would go on a trip in the 60s and 70s. But it really wasn't. The wagon was always full, just like this one is. At least we didn't have a 10 by 10 tent. No, well, we did that too. So, <laughs> typical, typical video of my adventures with my wife. The passenger seat is empty right now and I'm waiting on her to arrive because we got a phone call from one of the kids and she's having to deal with children eat stuff. So, I'll start the car and hope for the best, I guess. Close the door, let's ride. Since the air is broken, you might want to roll the window. Well, I don't know. We have a pretty good day today. It's not really sunny. Or it's sunny, this could be a lot more miserable of a drive. But uh, we've got a little bit of interstate running into the car. Now we're doing a bit of towny running, which always makes me a little nervous. Fortunately, this isn't a super flashy car, so there's not a lot of people trying to look at you and run into you, at least at this point. So um, I'm still a little bit pins and needles driving it because there are a lot of people that don't pay attention these days what with their mobile phones and all being so engaging. So we are now in Augusta on our way up to our campsite. Uh, we probably got about, what? How much time left? So we got about 20 minutes left uh, before we get there. So we forgot something, so we're stopping at Lowe's. By the way, if you have a car like this behind me, and you don't walk away a few steps and look back at it, do you really like your car? Think about it. We had to go through the stop. The guy was an older fella from the 60s, so it's kind of cool. He was a Vietnam vet, and he uh, recognized the wagon. Thought it was really neat. So it's kind of fun driving something old like this 
when you're going out. All right, so Deanna is nesting. This is where we're going to be for the next couple of days. Uh, this is how we set it up. I hope it works out. I hope that this is uh, a way that we can do things because it'd be kind of fun to be able to just go camping like this, her and me, out in the wilderness, so to speak. Looks pretty neat though. I like it. It's a little weird too. All the comforts of home, but no air conditioning. There's our sleeping quarters for the night. We will be putting uh, curtains up on the side to afford us just a little bit of privacy. <laughs> so it's 1045 at night, and really there's no way you can see me probably because I'm actually pointing the camera out at our view from the back of our 69 Fairlane wagon. Good night, America wherever you are. Well, it is day two, or maybe day and a half of the camping trip. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, I am sitting out on the tailgate of the wagon. <laughs> we, we actually slept with the uh, tailgate down. So we didn't even use the screen last night. It was just too much of a hassle for me to try to figure out how to get my big, old, broke down butt back into the wagon. Uh, like this. It would be probably better served in a Suburban. And yeah, I look like somebody's leftover chicken, but um, I didn't bring my razor, so you're going to see me in full regale this next day and a half or so. But we got some pretty neat views this morning. Wind's up a little bit, so it's not super hot. I'm liking this. It's, it's nice. I didn't sleep worth a crap in here, though. I will say that. Mattress that we got is a little too thin. It's a learning experience, and I'm a little worried about the easy up under high winds because these things are notorious for flying. So, let's hope it doesn't get too bad today. Well, I noticed the fuel consumption was a little odd, and it was starting to burble at idle this morning when we went to go get ice. So I knew we had a possible problem, and it has developed into a full-scale problem. This thing has decided that the float needs to be fixed this week, <laughs> and specifically today. So that means that Logan is now bringing me parts from Aiken because you can't just go get an O-ring around here for a Holly anymore. The only place it has it is O'Reilly's that I can find locally. Um, and you can't just get the O-rings. You have to buy the entire uh, needle and seat assembly. Yay team! So in just a couple minutes I'm going to be doing an impromptu how-to video on replacing a needle and seat in a Holly while you're on the road. Just because. All right, so now I finally got my part. Logan brought it up to me from Macon. He was over in Aiken, picked it up. This is, let me bring it up to you so you can see it. This is the needle and seat that we needed. Hopefully this will cure my problem. On these carburetors, the needle and seat inside of here, this O-ring right here controls gas flow around the carburetor. If this gets flattened out and dies, gas will just blow right through here because the needle won't be able to stop it. It'll get in around that seal. So hopefully this new needle and seat will cure my problem on this carb. Basically I'm going to just go ahead and undo everything. This is your tensioner for the nut that holds everything in place. That's going to have to come off. And I may have to scrape all this stuff to get the gasket material off of it. because That's got to come out this comes off. It's actually just got a double D on it, and then this screws out of here. Now this will mean I will have to reset my float, but I'm going to pull this one out and show you guys what we're dealing with here. This right here is the result of ethanol fuels. That thing is as hard as a rock, uh, and so ethanol fuels can affect that and cause you a problem. Now, to fix it, put the new one in. Well, it's our last day of camping and uh, it's raining. <laughs> And our easy up is filling up with water, but it's really cool because we've got our feet hung out the wagon here. Uh, we've got our coffee this morning, and it's just, it's nice. It's its not bad. The mattress that we got 
I would give it a solid one and a half out of 10 stars uh, for me because it's just too thin and I'm not able to really sleep the way I should. So probably at some point we'll just get frustrated and head toward the house. Oh, and the, uh, the heater and air conditioning system on the car quit. The blower's not blowing. And I think that's probably a battery problem. So see, no matter what, when you go in and working with an old car, you're going to be doing something no matter where you're at. It's just going to happen. Um, anyway, uh, I'll finish this thing up when we get back to the house because it's really kind of hard to lay here and hold a phone and talk to you guys in this angle. So I'm going to close out in just a minute. <laughs> I don't know what it's about filming. Got a guy with an ultralight going overhead. Since we shot all of this on a mobile phone, I'm finishing up on my mobile for this one. Um, basically, I wanted to go over a couple things that were interesting takeaways from camping in the back of a 69 Fairlane wagon. Uh, one of those things is using the restroom. The problem you have using the restroom with these is you either have to wait till very dark night and go off into the trees near your campsite, or a better idea would probably be to try to get a campsite closer to the provided restrooms at the place you're going camping because uh, that was an issue. If I needed to go to the restroom in the middle of the night, I had to just go out and take a wee somewhere out in the woods near my camp. And believe me, at campsites anymore, there's not a lot of room for that sort of thing. Another thing is, is it was really hard to go anywhere because we used the Easy Up as part of our uh, tent structure. And I didn't want that thing to blow away because they are re renowned for taking flight uh, when they're not tied down. And I didn't want to bring tent stakes to tie it down because that just seemed like a lot of a pain. I would do that differently. I'm showing you a picture of something we're looking at getting for this wagon that we're gonna use on the back of it that's easy to dismantle and take down and put away. And we will probably take the easy up and put it over the picnic table. Next time I'm gonna park closer to uh, restrooms. Had the carburetor problem, but that wasn't a problem because I brought tools. Anytime you're taking an old car and going somewhere, you're gonna to need to bring your tools with you. It's just a thing. I didn't bring enough because I didn't realize I was gonna have that kind of carburetor problem. And I have to question what I just said to a degree because can you indeed take enough stuff? Because what if the distributor had gone bad? What if, what if, what if? You can what if yourself to death. I had fun, I will say that. It was a lot of fun going out. Dion and I just taking a break and getting away from everybody for a couple of days was really great. We did have a couple of moments where things got a little dicey with us personally, uh, but I think that's married life. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but you know, the, the if you're married, you know what I'm talking about with those kind of arguments. Disagreements. She probably won't want me to say argument on video, but that's kind of the things that sometimes happen. And really that's it. That's where we're at. So that's a, just a weird little video I wanted to shoot for this week because of that. Apparently the chickens are being molested by something because they're over there making kind of all kind of racket. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can. So do me a favor, go out and check out the Patreon account. At the $10 a month level, you get monthly meetings with me on Zoom. There will be names going up over here. These are the guys who put their money where their mouth is. They actually support us on a financial level to help pay people like Andrew to come in here and also to provide a little bit of money for the kids who come in on Saturdays and work because I find that children learn better when they think they're making some money. And they are indeed making some money around here. We also feed them on Saturdays, so that kind of stuff takes a lot of money. If you know anything about feeding teenagers, these kids can eat like four large pizzas and they're gone within five minutes. If I don't get my two slices initially, I'm not going to get any pizza. Also, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, please. Click the bell for notification if that's even still a thing on YouTube. Uh, we're working on 100,000 subscribers right now. We want you to be part of that. So just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Get your friends to subscribe. We're at like 92,000-ish, right at 92 or a little over 92 now. So subscribe to the channel. You can be a part of what we're doing around here. And I am sweating because it's already hot this time of the morning. Finally, folks, do me a favor. Be kind to each other. Love on each other. Treat each other nice. You guys have a great week. We'll see you next time on. Auto Resto Mod. <laughs> okay, so would I do this again? Yes, but in the fall and, and probably some little things that are, are kind of different. Um, I might try to figure out some way to make up some kind of structure that we can just go pee in with a little porta potty or something inside of it for, uh, for using the bathroom. I don't know. Something different than that because that was kind of a pain. It would be a pain to put shoes on and walk even over to one of the provided facilities at sites. So that's kind of a pain. Did I enjoy it? Yes. 
Was it fun driving the wagon? Absolutely. I love this thing now. This thing's a ball, a ball to drive. I just gotta get the air conditioner working, and I've also gotta work on getting my on-off light for the OD switch, and that's something I need to do to get this thing so it's completed with that it's just completely out of the way. Um, I need to fix some lights in the dash. Lots of things that need to be done, but that's the way life is, isn't it? Seems like you get it done. I mean, I gotta put the tailgate on it. I gotta get the, I'm gonna put the 